the work it takes to build back up after a tornado. That's already begun here in Mid-City. Not just for construction workers, but the homeowners too. Let's try to clean up the best we can. Try to just move on from this. Landon Roberts is used to working hard and helping out around the house. But Friday night, news of a potential tornado sent him into the closet with his family. We were just like, oh man, you know, this is coming. When we had lights flickering and we we're just like, oh man, this is coming. And made him realize there was only so much he could do. So my mom's like, all right, grab, grab the pillows. And we had them over our head and we just heard rumbling, sound like a helicopter coming over our head. And we just felt sheet rock coming over our head. We're just, and we all started saying the Lord's Prayer right here. It was really scary. When a tornado hits a street so directly, everyone is impacted differently. For some, what was once their home turns into a pile of bricks, insulation, and part of one of their walls. And for those who don't have a place physically to sleep, there are people nearby ready to help. But our teams are gonna be out here helping people. The American Red Cross set up a nearby resource center where you'll find beds, blankets, and books. People can come through and grab, you know, food, water, and just basic supplies that they may need as they, you know, continue the recovery process. Which Billy Brooks decided to donate towards. My calling is to help, and I just woke up this morning. I was like, look, I couldn't get out there and help him last night, so let me see what I can do this morning. For Roberts, this doesn't surprise him. Everyone's just trying to work together, really, just without having God's hands over us, I think it could have been a whole lot worse. Like many here, Roberts is filled with a surprising level of thankfulness as his family now will try to clean up. I said that's about good enough though. <laughs> and move forward towards whatever comes next. In Mid-City, I'm Jay Wallace.